We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to day seven of the Phantom Manus. Phantom Manus. I'm just going to give up. I'm, I'm just going to keep saying it the way I want to say it. We're looking at The Art of Star Wars, episode one, The Phantom Manus, written by Jonathan Bresman, an absolute treasure of my collection. My aunt bought this for me back, would have been probably two year. 1999 or 2000 whenever this book came out she was always knew me as someone who was inspired by the artwork she always encouraged my star wars fandom as a kid and um you know to still keep this book in as beautiful condition as i have over the years i'm i'm very very grateful to still have it um you know this was something i poured over as a kid you know i was never really an aspiring artist as a kid but i was definitely and still am inspired by artwork and concept art. So I just thought I'd have a quick little flick through this book. I love this little sketch on the back of Jar Jar Binks. So we have their Lucas books. And I think there was a, there was a sort of embossed mole on the inner cover there. Inside the uh, the dust cover. So, like I said, I have been very careful with this book over the years. So, I will continue to try and and do so. So, I just thought I'd have a quick flick through. There's a there's a foreword there by Doug Chang, still with Star Wars today. This was back in May 1999. So, it goes through. Different aspects, different designs of the book, the Trade Federation. Some amazing Doug Chang artwork, which has now become, you know, very much iconic. Evolution of the Battle Droids. Some incredible, incredible changes and and designs there. Eventually evolved into what we have today. Destroyer droids, Dreadikas. You know, we did sort of see that one come to fruition in the Clone Wars. Almost. Very similar. Call them the retail droids. Use some early ideas for the for the B2s. Let's start to get the uh, droids there. We've got the Vulture droids. Landing craft. So he goes through a lot of the Trade Federation, the Staps, and the Moidians, the Naboo. So he goes through all the Gungan City, some of the some of the big big fish, some of the other beasts to see on the planet. Uh, some ideas for Jar Jar, They're sort of frog amphibious like. You see, we sort of see these evolutions kind of evolving. Terra Whitlack, Whitlatch to start design some of these as well. This is sort of very much for what became um, Meber Gascon from the Clone Wars. Be almost very, very uh, Dr. Seuss Grinch looking there. When we start getting there's a there's a naked Jar Jar for you. When we start getting a good look at Boss Nass. See, I'm just going to go through this quickly. I do want to get to the uh, the Jedi. There's Naboo. Some amazing designs in there for the buildings. Amidala. Very layer inspired Amidala there on the right. Just, yeah, in some incredible work. Tatooine. You know, the pod races. I love this. Love this picture of Anakin. This is like a scavenger. 
Slave Scavenger. Watto. I love this concept of Watto with a cigar. It's like an old, very old sort of used car salesman or furniture salesman or something. No offense to old used car salesman or furniture salesman out there, of course. The pod racing. Coruscant. The Imperial City, as it later became known. It was known before that. The Jedi Temple. And some Jedi here. Really nice. Yoda sort of wearing all black they sort of envision the Jedi much like Luke in episode 6 he went to wearing the black almost like a but yeah there's a concept for Darth Maul or the Sith that looks familiar doesn't it some really really interesting design work there we have him His small ship, Kenobi, young young Obi Wan. Again, down the bottom left there, sort of all black. It's very sort of a little bit more samurai like, and that was the idea that Obi Wan would have an apprentice. So yeah, really fantastic book. Nice list of all the art department. Um, yeah, nice list of all the artists, concept designers, model makers, previous supervisors, all that. So much amazing artwork and information in this book. I just wanted to share this in a in a quick video. You can still go and track this one down. Um, you know they're they're not difficult to find. Um, definitely go and check your yeah, eBay or um yeah go and find yourself a copy of the art of star wars episode one the phantom menace written by jonathan bresman appreciate you hanging around we'll see you tomorrow for day eight of the phantom menace may the force be with you